Hi, my name is Sarah Griffith. I work for Westlake Pro in Los Angeles, California. This video is part one of our Avid Pro Tools Matrix video series, where I'm providing an in-depth overview of the functionality of this new converter system and providing tutorials covering a variety of functionalities and situations. In this video, I will be covering the basic functionality of the Avid Pro Tools Matrix and front panel controls, as well as providing a brief overview of the extra I.O. options that are available. The Avid Pro Tools Matrix is the newest member of the Avid hardware family. The Matrix is an extremely capable multi-channel audio converter and microphone preamplifier that has simultaneous audio conversion from analog to digital, digital to analog, and digital to digital, and is a powerful signal router. The Matrix has created a new standard for pro audio conversion and monitor control around the world. The Matrix interfaces seamlessly with Pro Tools HDX or HD native systems, functioning as a high-performance 64-channel Pro Tools HD interface, while also functioning as a complete monitor control solution with extensive control with the Avid S6, S3, and Pro Tools dock. It's also a digital patch bay with a comprehensive digital routing matrix. Any input channel can be routed to one or more output channels on a mono basis. The matrix also has a precise and very high-quality internal sample clock generator, which also can be clocked from an external clock signal by utilizing a very accurate digital phase locked loop system. The chassis has a relatively small footprint for everything it can do, only taking up two rack units of space. In its basic state, the standard Pro Tools matrix supports built-in eight AES-3 interfaces for 16 mono channels of I.O. over two DB25 connectors, 64 channels of MADI over two built-in BNC coaxial connections, 64 channels of Pro Tools I.O. over two built-in Digilink mini ports to connect to your HDX card, word clock in and out on two standard BNC ports, an AES-11 word clock input, a MADI expansion slot labeled Optical I.O. This expansion requires the installation of a daughter card with up to two SFPs installed that can be your choice of either optical or coaxial MADI. Two network ports that can be used to connect your matrix to your network for control via the Dadman GUI on your computer while simultaneously being used for audio over IP if a Dante card is installed. The chassis is automatically outfitted with two power supplies tied to one AC connector. And finally, the Pro Tools Matrix features an expansion card architecture that can house up to eight cards. You can mix and match cards in these slots to be a variety of digital and analog audio cards, including connectivity for extra AES, extra MADI, and HDSDI audio. This means you can theoretically install up to 256 channels of SDI IO with SRC on the input only, 1,216 channels of MADI I.O. over 19 independent audio streams, and 144 channels of AES EBU I.O. with SRC on the inputs only. Each analog card is eight channels each. You have a choice of digital to analog outputs, line inputs, and mic line switchable input cards. The box can handle 48 channels of analog I.O., which is up to six analog cards installed in the unit. The only extra I.O. expansion that you can't physically see here is a Dante card option. If installed, it's seated on the motherboard inside the unit and is accessible via both network ports to provide audio over IP. The Avid Matrix is a digital patch bay. Via the main router in the Dadman GUI, any input can be routed to any and multiple outputs on a mono basis, but each output can only have one input channel assigned to it unless you are utilizing the monitor control configuration page, which we'll be going into greater depth upon in a later video. The software contains level control of any A to D, D to A cards that are installed, including mutes and solos, a routing matrix that will show you all input and output destinations and allow you to route to them, and a sync section with timecode, AES, MADI, and Pro Tools settings. The monitor configuration page allows you to create monitor control sources and destinations as well as fold downs that can interface with an S6, S3, and the Pro Tools dock. The front panel display has basic control accessibility. There are four buttons labeled Setting, Up, Down, and Page. Setting scrolls through the settings rows and the cursor marks the selected function. Up, Down scrolls through the value or setting of the selected function. Page scrolls through available display pages. The basic display shows you the current sample rate of the matrix. S-Rate Adapt shows you which external digital audio source the matrix is adapting to for sample rate. The Sync Source shows you whether the unit is clocked to an external source or internally. Unit ID or name will show you the unit ID number and unit name if it's been named in the GUI. 
The next is alarm status, which will show you if there's an error, either a sync error or a malfunctioning card, fan, or power supply, or if the unit is overheating. If all is well, it should read sync OK. The LED indicators on the AD row indicate the signal level of analog inputs. Yellow indicates signal input above negative 42 dBFS, and red indicates signal level above negative 0.5 dBFS. The LED indicators on the DA row indicate the signal level of the analog outputs. Yellow indicates signal input above negative 42 dBFS. Green indicates signal below negative 42 dBFS and a valid digital input source or carrier. And there you have it. There is the Avid Matrix in a nutshell. This concludes part one of our Avid Matrix video series. To learn more about this product, please check out our YouTube channel to see other videos in this series. We've provided a link in this video description for your convenience.